because there is a huge difference between transferring knowledge and transferring skill. Welcome back to the Leaders Only Podcast, where we talk about business, leadership mindset, and just pretty much anything revolved around building an incredible life. You know, one of the reasons that I started this podcast is because I felt like on the way to where we're at now, there wasn't really a place to go to learn tangible skills that are needed in order to succeed and further yourself and just get better overall in every area of your life. And so some background about me, you know, I built a sales company that does over eight figures a year. I own over $10 million worth of real estate, and I've built a multiple seven-figure income that's streamlined and in all honesty doesn't really need me. I plan on teaching you and documenting everything that I learned along the way. And if you get something out of today's message, if you can do me a favor, if you can like, share, and subscribe, it will give us the ability to further our message and help more people, which is what we're all about. Thank you guys so much. Let's dive in. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most important skill sets that a leader can develop and or learn, and that's the skill set and the ability to develop and build confidence into the people that they are leading. And the reason that's so important is because confident people take action and people who lack confidence tend to end up in a standstill and not really do anything because they don't trust their own abilities. And so your ability as a leader to instill and or build confidence into your people and help them become somebody who believes in their own capabilities and someone who believes in their own ability to get a result is absolutely everything. And so the leader that has the most people with confidence, the leader who has the most people who believe in their own abilities to get a result wins. And so I'm going to be going over tangible things that you can do today to instill and build confidence into the people that you are leading and uh, tune in for another podcast later on down the road because I'm going to talk about how to instill and build confidence into a team, not just an individual. But today we're going to be talking about how to build confidence into an individual to help them become somebody who believes in themselves, to help them become somebody who can do things all on their own, and to help them become somebody who trusts in their own abilities to get a result. And it's going to be really good. So let's dive in. So how do you do it? How do you instill and build confidence into someone that you're leading? And so the first thing that you need to do is you need to identify their God-given giftedness and you have to link it to why you think they could be successful. And so, for instance, let's say I was leading you. The first thing that I would want to know is what is the goal in front of you? What's the task that you need to have completed? And then what I want to do is I want to link your God-given gifts to why you are capable of accomplishing that task. So maybe it's you have extreme discipline. Maybe it's because you have an impeccable work ethic. Maybe it's because you have a heart of gold and you just genuinely care for people. Whatever your giftedness is, I'm going to link it to why you have the capacity and why you have the capability to get the result, hit the goal, and or complete the task at hand. So here's the deal. The most impactful way to do this, though, is not just to link their giftedness to why you think they can win, but it's linking the giftedness that they already see in themselves to why you think they can win. Because I can tell them, hey, I think you can win because of this, that, and the third. But if they don't believe those things to be true about themselves, well, then guess what? The level of confidence that they're going to have is not going to be the greatest. But if I can say, hey, because of this, that, and the third, this is why you're going to succeed, and they know that those things are true about them, well, now all of a sudden their level of confidence increases because they are seeing those abilities in themselves. And so I just want to make sure that if I'm going to link a giftedness, link an ability, link of skill set to why they can win, I want to make sure that they can see that own ability in themselves because that's the best way to instill confidence in them. The second thing that you need to do in order to build their confidence is you need to spend the time equipping them. This is something that I see a lot of people in leadership not do because they think it's below them. But it's sitting down and making sure that they don't just have the knowledge, but they have the skill set and the ability. It's taking time to equip them, not only with the resources that they need, but the skill sets that they need in order to get a result. Because there is a huge difference between transferring knowledge and transferring skill. Transferring knowledge means you understand. Transferring skill means you can do it all on your own. And so in order for you to have the confidence to go execute on a goal or hit a, hit a, a target, you need to not only know how to do it, but feel that you have the skill sets in order to be able to do it, which means I need to spend that time with you. And yes, this takes a lot of time. And to be honest with you, once again, this is the big mistake of leaders is they think it's below them. So I want to sit down with them and role play with them. Hey, you go, I go, you go, I go, you go, I go. Uh, this is exactly how you do it. Now you try it. This is exactly how you do it. Now you try. This is the button you press. Now press the button. This is the button you press. Now press the button. And I know it sounds repetitive and I know it sounds like it takes time, but I would rather spend the time up front making sure that you know exactly how to do it. That way, I don't have to spend time the rest of your entire career teaching you how to do it. So spend the time up front so that way you don't have to spend the time later on down the road. Number three, we need to pour massive amounts of belief into people. 
And I'm not talking about earlier when I said length are God giving gifts to why they can win. I'm just talking about they need to look at you and feel that you genuinely believe in their ability to succeed and you genuinely believe in their ability to get a result. Because like I mentioned earlier, most people doubt themselves. And so your belief in them needs to override the doubt that they have in themselves. And it can't just be a transfer of words. Hey, I believe in you and I think you can get a result. It's no, hey, listen, I believe in you. And I know you have everything in you that you need in order to succeed. I know you have everything in you that you need in order to get a result. Stop doubting yourself. You got this. You can do this. I, I know you do. If I didn't think you can get the job done, I wouldn't put you in this position. So just know I believe in you with every ounce of me. And I'm going to be there to help you every step of the way. But you got this. You can do it. And you're going to do an incredible job. I believe in you. See the difference there? It wasn't just, hey, I believe in you. You can do it. They can feel that I genuinely believe in them. And that's how it needs to be. And so just realize that once again, your belief in them needs to override the doubt that they have in themselves. And it can't just be a transfer of words. It has to be a transfer of energy. So last thing on this point is you have to realize that if you're in a leadership role, they know that you're in that leadership role for a reason. And it's because of your ability to get results. So when you are entrusting them with a role, part of them is thinking, well, they wouldn't put me in this role if they don't think that I can get it done. So as long as you can communicate that to them, it's going to increase once again, their confidence and their ability to believe that they can go out there and get a result because they trust you. And if you have trust in them and they trust you, they are naturally trusting themselves because they know that you wouldn't have them do something that they weren't capable of doing. Number four, follow up with them and show them support throughout the entire process of them trying to complete the goal. Why is that so important? Because once again, they're treading new waters. They're trying to complete a task that they have never completed before. So there is still a level of doubt no matter how much belief you pour into them. So if they hear you and or feel that you're supporting them and that you're there for them throughout the process, now their confidence isn't necessarily tied to what they've done in their experience. Their confidence is tied to what you've done in your experience. And so even though they may not need you 100% of the time, they have a different level of confidence knowing that they can tap into your knowledge if needed. You know, one thing that I learned, you know, very young in my entrepreneur career and from a gentleman by the name of Greg Cap, and it's something that I try to teach every single person that I'm leading is know what you know, know who knows what you don't know, and that's all that you'll ever need to know. Because if you know what you know, you know who knows what you don't know, then guess what? You should have all the confidence in the world because between you and the associations around you, you now have all the knowledge that you need in order to complete a task at hand. And so not only know that for yourself when it comes to your own confidence, but teach your people that because it's gonna boost their confidence as well. Number five, hold them accountable throughout the entire process to make sure that not only the task gets completed, but the goal gets accomplished. The reason this is so important is because it doesn't matter how much you link their God-given gifts to why they can win. It doesn't matter the skill sets that you equip them with. It doesn't matter how much belief you pour into them. And it doesn't matter if you support them along the way. If they don't achieve the result that they're looking for, then guess what? We just inserted once again doubt. We inserted the lack of confidence. We didn't build confidence into them. The number one way for somebody to become more confident is to achieve the result that they're trying to achieve. That's number one. If they get the result that they're trying to get, guess what? Their confidence is gonna boost. So my ability as a leader to hold them accountable throughout the entire process, to make sure that they get the result, to make sure that they achieve what they're trying to achieve, well then guess what? Because at the end of them completing a task, you'll see the most confident person in the world because every time moving forward, when that task pops up, they know from experience, they know from their own self-reputation that they can get a result and they can get the job done. Number six is after you achieve the result, one of the things that's extremely important is to then meet with them and go over everything that went right and what could have gone better. What this does is it's gonna help them remember everything that they did right that led to the result that they were trying to get. But then it's also gonna allow them to sure up the deficiencies that kept them from achieving the result sooner. And going into the next task and or trying to complete a task like this again, now they have a different level of knowledge, they have a different level of confidence, and they also self-reflected to see what worked, what didn't work, what should we continue to do, what should we avoid doing next time. There's a different level of confidence that comes with that awareness of how you achieve the result in the first place. And so just make sure that after you help them get the result, that you go back and review what they did right in order to get the result and what they could avoid next time to get the result sooner. And last but not least, number seven, publicly recognize them in front of all of their peers. Because not only is this going to make them seek out more recognition and try to complete even more tasks and go after even more goals in the future, but more importantly, what's going to happen is all of their peers are now going to go up to them 
saying, I'm so proud of you. That's so awesome. That's so cool that you did that. Can you teach me how you did it? And all of a sudden they go from a student to a teacher. And who learns more, the student or the teacher? Obviously the teacher. And if you were the leader of a business, do you want a whole bunch of students a part of your business or do you want a whole bunch of teachers in your business? You want a whole bunch of teachers in your business because the more people in a leadership role teaching, the easier it becomes for your business to scale. And so if I can encourage you to do something, it's recognize them publicly because now all of a sudden everyone will want to know how they got the result and then wanting to know how they got the result is going to boost their confidence even more. So with that being said, if you got something out of today's message, if you can like, share, and subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to us. Obviously, we put out all this information for free because we're just trying to make as big of a difference as we possibly can. And now we just appreciate your support. Thank you, guys. I will see you guys next week on another episode of the Leaders Only Podcast. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.